guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for your love on my channel so today i'll be glamming joy up and i'll just be explaining to you guys what i did and how i was able to achieve this look in general so the first thing i did was to clean her face with micellar water and wipes and what the micellar water does is just basically to remove hidden dirt that the wipes will not be able to clean on its own from her face then after that i went in with to moisturize her face which is what i am doing now moisturizing her face is just to add ph level like to increase the moisture on her skin and just give her face life i don't know if you understand like just bring out her face and the dryness puts an end just end the dryness and not it will not allow her face to be dry so that after that i went in with um my primer i used zaron primer and after applying to her face I, I used my hand to push everything in and just to make sure that everything is well blended and set in then here is what i what here i'm using the classic primer the mattifying primer on the two zones of her face the forehead the nose and her chin area which after that i went in with my foundation i used um adventure foundation if i can remember foundation i'm using here is adventure and it's very it's a very nice foundation because i didn't even expect it to come out this way but wow it came out well and it was a skin tone there was no um demarcation whatsoever from in any way in the foundation it does not leave any cast so after blending and blending i went ahead to contour her face with v beauty foundation in a dark shade um cacao i don't know if i use cacao or ebony i, I really can't remember what i use but i'm going to confirm it and drop um every detail of the product that i used in the description box box sorry right after that is now i'm using my taylor cosmetic blush um palette to blush her face as she's blushing right now so i'm just blushing and just adding colors to our cheekbones and just making sure that everything is well blended together after that right now i'm just um highlighting with um nuban beauty eye um concealer the first thing i wanted to do was to blend the under eye first but the um i noticed that the um concealer wasn't blend wasn't um having a full coverage so i decided to blend our chin first then the forehead why i allow the um concealer under the eye to wait a bit so that i can have a full coverage with it i guess i still had a full coverage and you guys should tell me in the comment section after blending so the best thing to do the rule for makeup is just to blend and blend make sure that everything is well blended into each other as you can see me switching my blenders if you haven't seen watch my videos on how to achieve a flawless look i think you should um watch it i'll drop the um link here um you should watch it so that you understand why i keep switching my blenders while i'm blending and the, and how to achieve such um um looks and just make, make get your makeup done in a very flawless way and i went ahead to set with um the powder please note that before you set the under eye with powder ensure that you re-blend the under eye because of any creasing that might have happened while she looked down and the concealer was still under her eye i just kept blending everything and making sure that everywhere i added concealer was well blended see me going back again with my beauty blender to make sure that everything is blended again and again and again blending is the key yeah i went ahead to set her face then pushing in the concealer pushing in sorry pushing in the setting um spray into her skin after that now i am putting powder on her face the other parts of her face that i have not done anything so i'm just doing the finishing touch by putting using a shade of powder to blend everything that i've done on her face out except for the under eye which is the highlight please i enjoy doing this because i feel like this thing this process just changes the whole game of the makeup like it just gives this flawless look to the makeup as you can see like 
blending everything out with the right shade of powder just allows everything to sit in and just set everything in if you understand what i'm saying and you can see what i'm saying please let me know in the comment section right after that i went in to contour her nose and just give that definition uh, an illusion of a pointed nose yeah nose now it's not pointed <laughs> So an illusion of a pointed nose. Then after that, I went into um our brows. Please note that our brows were not shaping. She didn't want our brows shaping whatsoever. So all I had to do was still had to do the right thing. Uh, what I would have done, even if I was shaping the brows, which was to tame the brows, brush it upward, and just make sure that everything was set in place. Then after that, I went into setting with my mirror cosmetic setting powder i am not baking i am just setting just a little goes a long way with mirror cosmetic setting powder and you 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 don't want to use too much except you want to bake and you really want um the under eye to be very pronounced but that was not the um assignment here the assignment is just to set the under eye and, sh and just make sure that it is um bright enough do you understand so like i said earlier that our brows were not shaping if you look at it properly you see that there is air on our brow bone it was not shaping but i still had to follow the rules of the brow drawing brows which is the arc the the tail the head if you haven't if you don't understand what i'm saying here quickly if you look at this picture you will see the hack the right is right arc is right on top of the brow bone so when i mean the the air on the brow bone i meant right under this arc there is air she has air on the under the arc just under the arc so that is what i meant by okay i had to follow the hack so imagine me drawing the brows just the way her air was it wouldn't have made any sense Look, that's why you have to know what to do from the beginning because there are some some of your clients who say they don't want to draw brows. They don't want their brows shaping. Not all. It's really rare. But m some people are just like that. They want what they want and they don't like what they eat. Do you understand? So they don't want it. They don't want it. And there's no way you want to convince them. Some can be convinced. Why some will stand on it that they don't want their brows shaping. So I just kept filling in with my pencil. Went in with the pencil after drawing with the brow gel. And just kept filling in and I did the same thing to the other side. Just make sure that you know how to draw your brows from the beginning. Once you know the basic rules for drawing the brows, then there's no situation that can that can that can shift you from anyway. <laughs> there's no situation that can warrant um you to be worried or paranoid over maybe the customer doesn't want something or does not want the past client. Once you know the basic of this makeup um game, makeup rule, makeup um application, there's no situation that can really really put you off off guard. Do you understand? So after that I went into highlights and because I told you that I did not shape in her brows, what I did was not I did not have too much concealer to her brow bone because if you move closer there's a there's actually air on her brow bone and if I added too much of the concealer to her brow bone there was going to be with time it's going to start um 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 having to be greasy even if it's not that much, but it might come out greasy because though I have set it, but at that at the same time I did not that place as a and I have to be really careful. So to be on the safe side, I went in to use a very little concealer to blend that um to um highlight the brows. And I did the same thing for this um uh, the other eye too. So watch as I do it. So now I am just blending everything out. After highlighting, I am blending out with my fluffy brush, blending brush, to make sure that everything is well blended into the skin. And basically, that is it. So I went into 
the eyeshadow i decided to do a very small cut crease not a full one so the first step i'm doing here in this eye is to show you how you can cut the crease without having to by yourself without having to uh, but um do this second technique that i did you just have to find the lines on her face wherever the lines on her face end or you tell her to tell your customers to look up then this one the second one i did was to put it at the down part of her eyelid like a eyeliner water line and i asked her to look up and that was how i got the other one so whichever way one works for you you can try any of the two it works very well with this brown shade this art shade it just gave me sink colors 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 and once i got what i think i wanted then i went ahead to um use this pinky shade and i went over it with this orangish um shimmery eyeshadow i could not really film this eyeshadow because at one point she was sleeping she was dozing off and there was she just kept dozing off and dozing off and dozing off so i have to make it short make this part short but if you like me to do something else or show you how i achieved the eyeshadow look in another video please let me know in the comment section because i think that this eyeshadow is really beautiful and should be filmed on its own <laughs> so after that i went in to line her eyes with um taylor cosmetic um black eye gel and i did the same for her under eye i lined with the same gel then i went ahead to the lips i went i'm using the blues blossom cosmetic um lip palette at one point i didn't know i was blocking the lights in one way or the other so i apologize for that i told i went in with this brown shade from the palette then this pinkish um nude and there's some nude to the part to the pink then tell her to blend then i went ahead to take my brush any excess i pick off from the um palette i use i just kept blending and blending and blending then removing any excess blend again blend again remove any excess then went ahead to blend with the brush at first i thought something was wrong with the brush then i saw that nothing was wrong with the brush and i went ahead to blend and blend and blend then i went in to add this um to make it more of what i want if i if i can say so i really didn't know what i was really doing i just knew that i just kept adding colors just to get something that i feel like okay this is okay now do you understand and that's the rule of makeup you really can say okay this is what i want to do and you just stick with it what you want to do might not really come out well as you want so you have to just find a way so once you now like what you are doing then you can stop at that i hope i'm making sense so that's just the rule of makeup so i can't te start telling you guys now that okay mix two and a half of brown you get so you have to just be creative about doing this makeup if you really want to do it you just have to keep trying mix colors don't be scared of colors try colors if it doesn't make sense you know that okay next time i'm not going to do this this and this doesn't work together so that's basically it if you have watched my video on lashes then you understand what is going on here my client did not like fixing lashes she she didn't like i mean my model she didn't like the la she didn't like fixing lashes and i just had to follow every rule i said in the make um, the lash um, tutorial that i did in my video in my in, on my channel if you have watched it but if you haven't watched it i'm going to drop the link here so i just had to do everything i said was the right thing to do and at the end of the day it came out well you can see her smiling and checking that if she was comfortable and all like that and looking at it yourself you will know that she's comfortable and the lashes suits her properly like i said in that video I just kept going over everything that i've done over here the highlights everything that i just need to touch up that was what i was doing here that's it again and i thought about it then okay sorry before that i went ahead to add more blush to add um to the blush to anywhere that i've already added you know i added powder and blended everything how so the powder might have taken more of the blush so i just added more to it then i went ahead to add gloss to her lip because i was like why not why not if not so 
this is it me just blending the lip gloss together i used um Z for the brown part i used zikel cosmetic and for the nudish part the middle part i used the brown um beyond beauty lip gloss then for the two in order to blend the two together i just went in with this um vaseline vaseline lip therapy to blend the two together and this is just the finished look now i went ahead i was just doing touch up here just cleaning out anything that could have maybe a stain anywhere or just skinny there i went ahead to add glue to her face i really didn't want to add glue to her face because she wasn't taking the makeup anywhere after the makeup application i only did this video for the sake of this um particular tutorial so that was basically it. so i just added blended the uh, um um the glow added it into the, the right places on her face and that was it just kept blending and blending and blending everything together to achieve the flawless makeup look and make sure that everything is as it should be so just kept blending yeah blending 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 just keep make sure that you blend that is just the the the, the thing guys just blend sure that you blend and this is the finished look guys please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel what do you think i should have done leave better. your comments like share and thank you again Mwah.